Gentlemen, I'm your host Chris Caliber, and we are here again on Reality Era. Where we give you that real, that exclusive, that urban, and that what do we call it? Mm, that real feel. Understand? Today I have a guest, Miss Pukui, is it right? Yes. Brandy Pukui. Mm, that's a beautiful name. I, Thank you. I mean, where, where is that? Well, my dad is Liberian, so it originated from Liberia. That's where my last name is from. A lot of people think it's French, but it's not. Yes, I definitely was going to say that, <laughs> but I didn't want to throw that out there. So, um, got a few things for you today, you know, a, a nice little regiment. Why don't you tell my audience a little bit about yourself? All right, well, my name is Brandy Pokui. I'm 26. I'm from the Bronx. Um, I just actually got into filming and everything. However, it's always been a dream of mine, but it's not time as Zeke that he made my dream come true. So... That's awesome. We need more people like that, you know, leaders that's giving opportunity, a platform. Um, and you bring up Zeke, you know, he's the reason that we have reality ever going as a whole, yes. you know. He put me in one of those fields, shout out to Spike Zeke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but um, how was your transition from your regular life into filming? It wasn't hard at all. Like, like I said, it's always been something I wanted to do. So, I mean, once I got into acting at first, I was like, oh, this is See, it, it went from there. Like, it just became a breeze after a while. Like, right. What was your first scene? What was the first film that people could see? I mean, I was there. <laughs> but, you know, for those that wasn't there, what was the first scene that you was in? What was that first film? That first film, like the film one. I'll never forget that song. Like, <laughs> everything just happened so fast. It was so sudden. Like, Zeke hit me up, like, oh, um, you want to be in a film? Okay, cool. I'm going to come through, film. And it just happened. Like, it was good though, it was good. It was a good like opening for me. Like right. So you, you also made it to the sequel? Yes. <laughs> I mean, how is that? I mean it's from something to nothing, you know what I mean? Or nothing to something, excuse me. It was it was great because it's good to see yourself grow on T V. Like I was like, Oh my god, look at me in light one, look at me in light two, like, I look totally different. <laughs> like, you could tell that like, I got more comfortable too acting and stuff like that. Um I liked it. I really liked it. Awesome, that's awesome. Um, persuasive. Persuasive. I mean, <laughs> from light one to light two. To persuasive. Whoa, whoa. I mean, look at that role. <laughs> <laughs> How close was that role, you know, to, to real life? The, you and that person, or yeah, the same, or you that, well, you know, that guy, he offered me a million bucks. He, he gonna pay me my million bucks. I mean, like, I use my imagination to a certain extent, you know, I like all them twisted horror snap shows women right. but i mean definitely some things came from experience things that i went through over time so i incorporated that as well too um yeah that one that one i was a little scared to put it out too why is that because the reactions like this girl is biting men penis away. <laughs> like what the fuck <laughs> yeah i came from when i got to that part you know i immediately turned it off I didn't even watch the rest of the film. Actually, I caught the end of the film with Spike Z. You know, I was sitting down at his location a little while ago, and he forced me to watch the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when I got there, I was just like, oh my God, he did this. Little oh, they sister. did this stuff. Like, <laughs> that's a definitely type of film, which is good. You know, like you said, it shows expansion and growth, and you're not afraid to act. Mm -hmm. Like, you gotta take risks. He tell me all the time, like, you gotta take risks to get what you to get so I'm like I'm willing to take any risk by all means necessary to do what I need to do to get what I need to get like that's so. awesome that's awesome but all right um I'm sorry to cut you off we're gonna take this break real quick we're gonna come back we're gonna watch a clip of persuasive you know we ain't gonna show you what she's talking about <laughs> but we're gonna show you some of Brandy's skills and we're gonna have some more questions and we're gonna sit here we're gonna talk for a little bit we're gonna eat some candy we're gonna hang out with Brandy Poker. What's going on, baby? Oh my god! What took you so long? It took me so long? Yes, I've just seen you for mad long. Listen, baby, be glad I'm here, alright? <laughs> How you doing? Mmm, 
but you took so long, that's not cool. Yeah. I'm sorry about that, girl, but check this out. I've been doing a lot, you know, my emails off the hook. You know, I've been running around trying to make sure my flight right. I got a show tonight. But listen, the best part is to be with you right now. I'm with you right now. Okay, I'm sorry. The anticipation was building, and I was becoming more and more eager to meet Chris. He took so long that I started to think he was standing me up. But that wasn't the case, though. Because as soon as I was about to dip, he appeared looking like everything I could imagine and more. All right, welcome back. Thank you again for joining us on Reality Era. It's Chris Caliber. Brandy, you know, I ain't gonna slaughter her name the whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get it eventually. It definitely, I just gotta say it enough. Um, as you guys just witnessed, that was persuasive. Mm. Manhunter. Now, let me ask you something about this film. Um, what, what brought it to your attention? What made you want to make your own film after starring in, you know, I say, what, three Spike Z films? I mean, even that, that's a bunch under your belt. From well, I'm very versatile. and. I like to switch it up, I like to try different things, do different things. I wanted to see how like, how strong I stood by myself without having to have any supporting characters. Like, I wanted to see how people would react to just me. Mm -hmm. So that's why I did it. That's cool. Um, so what made you uh, put Manhunter at the end of it? You know, you joined it into the Manhunter series. Now it's like its own little universe, which is awesome. You know, because that leaves infinite possibilities for later. But what made you add your persuasive to that as opposed to a standalone film? Well, I feel like, how can I say this? Like, if it wasn't for Z and a lot of other cast members, we wouldn't be here where we are today. So I feel like as long as we stick together as a group and we all work together as a group, we will get far. Right. That is my platform, Spike Z Productions, all that's my platform. And I see that he started like a whole like little collection of little horror short films. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I'm like, why not add to that? Like, right. That's a good thing. I mean, it's, it's a beautiful film. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Ladies, don't be getting no ideas. <laughs> you can't have trends like that going around Harlem in the oh five boroughs. You know? But um, so what's next? As of right now, like I'm brainstorming, trying to figure out some other things I want to work on. I have a couple of ideas. I don't want to, you know, speak on it yet, but there's definitely some more stuff coming out. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. It's always good to see growth and mm -hmm. progress. And again, you have the perfect platform. Again, shout out to Spike Z for giving us all the opportunity to do what we love to do. Um, you know, is there any music coming from your way? Because I've seen you in a few of those Spike Z music videos as well. <laughs> you know, playing I the mean, video mixing and stuff like that. Video mixing. I wouldn't say video mixing, but I mean, like, you may catch me in a couple other music videos. I'm not too sure. As far as like me doing music, I love music, don't get me wrong, but I'm not there yet. It's not your thing right now. Not That's yet. good. You gotta focus on your craft. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna stick to acting. <laughs> well, speaking of acting, <clears throat> we here at UmediaCloud.tv, mm -hmm. we are forteing into the same realm different you know we're gonna captivate all brands because as you said one team one dream in essence and a joint project that i'm bringing, I'm bringing out with spicy visions we're doing this superhero sitcom okay and all the adults are gonna be super villains the kids are gonna be the superheroes <laughs> well, yes, it's gonna that's be awesome. different that's so dope <laughs> that is exactly. dope you don't see things like that it's right. gonna catch a lot of people attention definitely so um since we got you here throwing it out there for you right now. We would definitely like you to be a part of that journey. Like it's gonna be awesome. I would love to. As long as y'all get to make me a bad girl. I wanna be somebody like Poison Ivy or something like Of course. That. I mean, what you can have no super, super. It, it's, it's different. You know, you're gonna have like geriatric powers. You're gonna be like an old lady with a walker. Super speed and stuff like that. <laughs> it's gonna be beautiful. Oh but it, right. I'm definitely down. You know where to find me. Indeed. Well, whenever you're ready to come back, new project, new film, new movie, when you decide to do that music, modeling, whatever it is you want to do, we have the platform here for you to express yourself. We have the fan following, people that watch, everything that we do, so you come back. Thank you, I appreciate it. I appreciate it for the, the extending the branch. Of course, I mean, teamwork, can't do it without each other. And look out for that 
Persuasive. If you haven't seen it yet, it's live on the Spike Seek Vision. You can find it on YouTube. You can type it into Google. You can type it into your Facebook. Where can they find you personally? Um, you can find me on Instagram. My name is I be on my own shit. I B O N S. Well, I spelled it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we well, should cut this out and everything and fix it, right? Oh, definitely not. Uh, huh? <laughs> <laughs>